Welcome to Map Monastery. This is probably one of like the mass majority of Avo players' favorite map. Primarily because it's close quarters and it's very fast paced. You're gonna find yourself in a lot of situations uh, that get you get you killed. It, so positioning on this map is critical, especially if you're a camper. There are some specific locations you're gonna be on, have to be on the lookout for and try to hold. Some of them outside, some of them inside, and uh, we'll talk about the expansion that's over there in a little bit. But why don't we take a little peek at a few places that you can camp on the outside first. Let's go. All right, we'll start at the rock face because this is one of my favorite spots and is also a very good spot to cover a lot of areas. It's better in team deathmatch. It's not so great in FFA and any other kind of uh, objective based mode. This is a very good spot to hold and I'll show you why. You could either hop up this way or you can hop up around. This will probably be the easiest way for people. You hop up here and you have a great view all the way down towards the south end of the map where the entrance into the wine cellar is. Uh, you have a nice little spot down here that you can catch and you can catch people coming out of the tunnels. Uh, but more importantly, you can catch people over here. Now you could stand up, but obviously your view isn't obstructed. So you wanna crouch down mostly and peek around the corner. You can catch everybody coming up this way. You can also get some good intel from here, see people coming in, catch them from there. And anyone coming around the other side of the building here, you can catch them off guard. Now there's a whole new section down over here. You can catch people coming up as well, right towards those stairs. Uh, really good spot to be in, but uh, kind of difficult to hold. Uh, so just be careful and be able to be on the move. If you need to adjust from rocks, you can always hop back this way and you can hold down here. The pillars will provide you some protection. Um, so be sure to use some mobility here and get into a safe place. But uh, that being said, let's move on to another location. All right, to give you some perspective, we just came from up there. The rock face is all the way up there. Now, I like to come down this way because sometimes you spawn over here and it keeps you out of danger from sprinting down this long hall coming down these stairs. So I would recommend not jumping down into this alley, down the stairs, jump and take the long way around. That way you can catch people coming out of the tunnels and you can actually protect yourself from anyone who might be coming up here to shoot you down. Anyway, another good camping spot is right here in the corners. This is very dangerous, especially if you go prone, you can back yourself into the corner here. People are gonna come out of the wine cellar and they're not going to see you. People over here might be able to see you, but it might be prove difficult considering you're backed up all the way into the corner. Uh, people above you aren't gonna be able to see you either. And if you want, you can hold this location which actually provides a lot of distractive cover from the shrubbery. Uh, so you'll be able to catch these people and they'll be very pissed off like I usually am when they catch me coming out of here. Um, people over there will have a very hard time seeing you and people up there probably just won't see you. So this corner is very popular. This corner is secondary uh, to this location. Um, try to use this, but don't stay here long. Once someone knows you're here, expect grenades. Anyway, let's go inside and see what's out or what's in there that you can camp at and possibly get a lot of kills from, but let's go. All right, so we just came out from the corners over there and we came into the wine cellar. Wine cellar is a very popular place and it's undergone some transformation. There used to be red barrels. These red barrels right here, those ones right there, um, those, there used to be a whole bunch of them over here and with the new map update, they're not going to be here anymore. You're still going to have this corner, which people like to hold. Uh, but it's very dangerous, especially if someone's coming here and now if they're coming up this ramp. So this is a good spot if you have a hard point here or uh, a bomb site here. But in TDM, I wouldn't stay here long. Might be good to catch someone off guard if they don't know anyone's in wine cellar. Where this area is most effective is if you jump behind these boxes and you maintain cover over here. Now, you can hide uh, behind the boxes technically here but really where you want to sit is is in this spot because you can catch people coming up this way you can catch people coming out over there and if you're really good you can catch people coming over here you can even blind fire just make sure you don't have the laser on uh, otherwise you'll be easily spotted and people you'll catch a lot of people off guard here good spot but if you're here way too long as with any spot you're going to get caught so be sure to get a couple kills here and then move on out let's move on to the next spot right over here all right, we just came from those boxes and uh, this area is very popular as well. Obviously the corners in this map are proving to be your best friend. So you can 
lie down here if you want, go prone, um, and you can hold this corner. Uh, it can be rather difficult uh, to sneak in here. Uh, going prone is possible. I hide them behind the chairs. This is gonna provide you some cover from here, but not uh, from over here. So this spot, this uh, alley, uh, sorry, yeah, this lane and that lane, it's not gonna provide you as much, or it's gonna provide you more cover, but it's not gonna provide you as much cover coming from here. So just be careful with that. In this same area, you can cover other corners. You can cover here. Be sure to go prone here though, um, because if you, if you are crouched or if you're standing up, you're not gonna see anyone coming from this angle or from this angle and that's the whole point of holding a spot is getting people out those two lanes in this lane you can go underneath but i'll be honest this isn't very very popular it can provide you cover from grenades to some extent but truthfully you're not going to be able to get the same type of angle you, know, you would if you were in the corner so very popular spot right here is sitting in this corner give it a shot and we can also go over to these other corners as well Again, don't sit in any one of these locations too long. Grenades will come flying in and it'll be a disaster for you. Let's move on to the next spot. All right, so we just came out of the wine cellar right over there. Um, and what you want to do is run up these steps and back over here. You can either hold the bridge, which is very good, especially if you go prone. Very good spot to hold. But where I'm finding a lot of people kind of hang out is in this corner. You can duck down, you're blocked by the bench, you got some cover by the boxes. Uh, this corner is very, very tight, and most people coming up the stairs here aren't going to see you. These guys are not going to necessarily be looking in the corner. And on the dark variation of this map, the night variation, it's going to be very difficult to see you. But don't stay here too long, and let's move on to the next one. All right, so very conveniently, the next spot is right here at the wood pile. We just came from the boxes up here. Some people are able to sneak into the corner between the boxes and the wall. It's kind of difficult to get to, but use the tip that I just shared with you um, as a good spot. But another good spot is right here next to the wood pile. Uh, a lot of people will not see this coming. They'll be coming around the corner here. They'll be coming from the wine cellar and they'll be coming from this corner here. And what's very nice about this spot is you can hop into the corner, you can go prone, and it's very, very hard to see you because part of your body is obviously sticking through the wall, so it's just the upper torso, that, and uh, you're going to be able to catch plenty of people off guard, I promise you. Is So give this one a shot. Again, as with all other spots, just move if you uh, are here too long. And uh, yeah, guys, I got wood. All right, guys, I'm going to show you another spot, and this one is not yet quite familiar with many of you, considering the fact that this extension has yet to be in retail, and it will be coming soon. But here's a few quick tips when you're playing down in this extension area. Um, keep in mind, these still need to be tested for the most part, not from beta testers, but you guys as the alveteers. We're going to see what becomes the meta, but during the beta testing, I found certain areas to be a little bit more formidable in terms of defending and capturing or catching people off guard. And I'm going to show you those right now. So these boxes here used to prove uh, to be, you know, a good spot because you could hide from most people coming up over here and you can catch people coming down here. Uh, but it's not so much the case anymore because your flank is entirely exposed. Instead, um, people I've seen people use the barricade facing this way, but where I like to sit is behind these barrels. So much coverage, but you can actually catch people coming down the stairs. You can even crouch here and get people coming from all the way down the long, and you can catch people coming around the corner here, and you're very difficult to see. Now, this is only beneficial if you're coming from this side of the map or coming down this ramp here. You can also catch people along this way. You have so much coverage here, and they're not going to be able to shoot you. You are going to have to be weary of incoming grenades, but for the most part, this spot is so, so good to hold, especially if there's a hard point. A hard point usually spawns right here, so if you're providing cover to your team who's on the point, this is a very, very good spot. Of course, you're going to need someone to cover your flank, and that's where the next spot comes in. So let's go. All right, so we just came from the barrels over there, and how is someone going to cover your flank? Now, we have a line of barrels here. 
Uh, obviously, this is not going to prove too, too good, as uh, if anyone comes down these stairs, the most you could do is cover yourself this way, stay prone, just be careful not to let your legs stick out, but you're only able to cover so much, right? You can only catch people coming out of the tunnel there, and maybe when people are crossing down the stairs here, so I wouldn't recommend this spot, but where I would recommend is right back here. Yes, people will not see you from this angle. Uh, you'll be able to hear the footsteps or see the visuals of them running down before they can see you. You can catch them off guard from the back. Now I'm running the UMP right now or the Hurricane as you guys know it. And I'm able to provide some cover from here, but if I got a teammate here, they're gonna be providing cover up there. So I'm just gonna watch their flank as the enemies try to make their way down this way. And again, be careful of those incoming grenades. Now the last, but not least, one of my favorite spots is this corner. Yes, this corner is very dangerous and it can be very dangerous, but in a good TDM squad or even a good uh, objective based game mode, this can prove to be very helpful. You can catch a lot of people off guard if you have a teammate here or in your here, someone can watch all the way down the long while the other covers this angle over here catches people coming out of the wine cellar coming across the bridge and down that alley you have all these areas of cover now of course that's going to prove difficult for people whose head are not on a swivel so you got to be very quick and where you're looking you got to be very quick in your shots uh, but it also provides really good cover if you're hanging down right here and you catch people on a cross coming down you have this wonderful shrubbery mm. is that is that what I think it is? Now once again, it's a very dangerous spot and you're gonna have a good opportunity to lob grenades, especially if you're running radar and you know people are coming that way. This could provide a lot of really good cover, but as with anything, be sure to not stay here long and move. A good way to evade is simply moving from this spot down into the wine cellar as long as you're confident no one's coming that way just hop over the wall sprint in and then you can rotate back around towards your team if they're covering down here again it's a very good loop if you guys uh, are working together effectively and everybody's got each other covered very very good spot uh, so use these places these locations these campsites to your advantage and do the best that you can primarily in team deathmatch or other objective modes free for all just expect to run around and be weary of those grenades <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen of the alvatier congregation this has been the map overview for monastery i hope you've enjoyed your time and i hope you've learned something from it now i know you guys have made a mess you can pick this up after but uh, hopefully you do come back and when you do, this place will be spick and span. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you're new here, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, look, there's a duck up there. Bye.